Hello everybody, come on in. I'm gonna do some prayer. I'm gonna do some prophetic worship and just flow. This is my prayer room. I've been in here praying for a while now and now I'm welcoming you in to my prayer room with me as I felt led of the Lord. And I have my Bible open to the book of Esther. So I just kept hearing Esther's song, Esther's song, sing Esther's song. So I don't really know what that means yet, but we're going to find out. Amen. I know it's Saturday and I wasn't planning on going live, but... Come on in. Thank you, Jesus, for today. We bless you, Father. Come on in. Come on in. God, we give you the glory. We give you the glory. We say, Lion of the tribe of Judah, roar. Roar. Time as this, you were born for such a time as this. 
you are here, you are here for such a time as this. You were born for such a time, for such a time. This is the time, this is the place. This is the time, this is the place. Now is the time, now is the place. Now is the time, now is the place. read this really quick and I'm just going to begin to flow and really I want us to learn how to be still and know that he's God and listen for the voice of God how to sit in your place of prayer your secret place your place that you go to and you spend time with God and how not just to talk the whole time but to listen and then to declare what you hear. It's important. We have to get to that place. That's the place that makes the demons tremble. That's the place that breaks the chains. That's the place that brings restoration. That's the place that takes us in. Come on. That's the place that makes the demons tremble. That's the place that gets the Lord's attention. That's the place. That's the place. The place of listening, 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 listening. The place of listening. God, what are you saying? We're listening. Yeah, I'm going to flow right here. God, what are you saying? We are listening. Listening, listening, listening to your voice. Your voice is like a trumpet. And we want to hear it. Yeah, your voice is like a trumpet. And we want to hear it. Your people are listening. Your people are listening. Be still and know. Be still and listen. What is God saying? What is God saying? What is He speaking? Do you know? As you're speaking over generations, we are listening, listening, listening. We don't want to miss a thing. We don't want to miss a thing, God. Esther 4, verse 14 says, for if you remain completely silent, at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. But you and your father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you have come into the kingdom for such a time as this? Who knows? You have come into the kingdom, Monique, Kaylee, for such a time as this. That's what the Lord is saying. Do not, do not turn away. Do not turn away from my voice while I speak. Stand 
in my mountain And I blow like a trumpet over the earth And my prophets, I ask, do you hear me? And my children, I say, are you listening? Why have you said, God, where are you? Why have you said, why are you speaking when I'm speaking? When I'm speaking, when I'm singing, when I'm declaring. Do I have your attention? Yes, God, you have our attention. <laughs> you have our attention. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We stay right here. We're taking off our shoes. We're looking right at you. We're taking off our shoes. We're looking right at you. We're taking off our shoes. We're looking right at you. We've taken off our shoes. We're looking right at you. We've taken off our shoes. 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 We're looking right at you. We've taken off our shoes. We're looking right at you. We've taken off our shoes. We're looking right at you. Taking off our shoes, we're looking right at you, we're looking right at you. Flaming, flaming bush, flaming, consuming fire. Cause you're speaking from the fire. That's what I hear the Lord saying to you right now, even in the trial that you're facing. He said, I'm speaking from your fire. I'm speaking in the fire. Yes, God. I'm speaking in the fire. Can you hear me now? Woo! Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? The Lord is saying, listen, my prophets, listen, my children. I've been speaking from my mountain listen my prophets listen my children i've been speaking from my mountain i've been speaking from the fire i've been speaking from the flame i've been speaking from the mountain i've been speaking right to you can you hear me now can you Hear me now, can you hear me now? I've been speaking from my mountain. And my mountain, I see it all. I see you when you rise, I see you when you fall from my mountain. on him if you 
You get into a rush And you get distracted You'll miss his voice from the mountain Oh, you'll miss his voice with instruction Oh, you'll miss his voice while he's Jesus, I come against every spirit that is trying to block you from hearing. Thus saith the Lord, I come against even self-sabotage. I come against every curse, every hex, every vex, every bit of sin in your life that is trying to keep you from hearing your Father's voice. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that your spiritual ears are open, open, open in the name of Jesus. Never to close again. Come on, somebody. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? From the mountain, God is speaking. We hear you now. Against your mind, mental warfare, 
anguish and torment. This is what you do. Take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. Come on. Come on, Contessa. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, the power of the Holy Ghost over this entire broadcast in the name of Jesus. May the power of the Holy Ghost flood this broadcast in the name of Jesus. 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 Taking off our shoes, looking right at you. Come on, everybody say that. I'm taking off my shoes, I'm looking right at you, God. I've been in a rush. I've been distracted. I've looked to the left. And I even looked to the right. And I even looked behind. And stop moving toward my Christ. But today I say no more. I will make a change. I will say his name. Taking off my shoes. I'm looking right at you. I'm taking all of my shoes. I'm looking right at you, God. I'm taking off my shoes. I'm looking right at you. I'm taking off my shoes. I'm looking right at you, God. And nobody can steal my gaze. Nothing that this world has can take me away. I'm looking right at you. Huh. I'm looking at eyes of fire, eyes of fire, eyes of fire. Eyes of fire, I know that face, I know that face. <laughs> Take on my shoes, I'm looking right at you. Come on, Gypsy. I'm taking off my shoes, I'm looking right at you. Come on, if you haven't been looking at the Lord, just say, Lord, God, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm coming back to the heart of worship. Father, I've been distracted. You guys thought that song that I just sang, like that was just for you, that, that was my, my actual song to the Lord. I have looked to the left and looked to the right. I got distracted. They even looked back. But now, I'm taking off my shoes. I'm getting back. Recentered. If you have to do it every single day, then you have to do it every single day. And His grace mercies are new every day. Come on. That's right. Come on. Yeah. You know, Tessa, I keep seeing your name. And I just feel, just, let me just start praying over you and then whatever the Lord has, we will do that. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray over Contessa right now, God. I break the spirit of heaviness off of you right now. I break the spirit of heaviness and I break all control and manipulation. And the enemy is trying to hurl against you with an onslaught of an attack. Even using people that you're close with to come against you in the name of Jesus. I break that off of you now in Jesus' name. And thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that you are gracing Contessa with strength in the name of Jesus and a boldness. A fresh boldness comes upon you now. No, you're not going to stay in this place forever. 
that's the answer. No, you're not going to stay in the place forever. God says, for I, the Lord, I will move you with my mighty hand. And yes, I'm protecting. And yes, I see and I know and I'm with you. For have I failed you yet? The Lord says, no. And I won't start now. But strength comes, daughter. Strength comes. Strength comes and my glory comes. Yes, strength comes. Strength for the journey. Strength for what's ahead. Joy in the Lord is your strength. Sing that. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Say it, come on. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Getting stronger and stronger and stronger every day. I'm getting stronger, stronger, stronger every day. I'm getting stronger, stronger, stronger every day. I'm getting stronger, stronger, stronger every day. It's not over for you. Come on. Esther 4.14 says, For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. If you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will come up from another place. But it's supposed to come through you. Don't let this moment pass you by. Don't let the trial take you out. Don't let what's meant to pull oil out of your life crush you forever. It's not that kind of crushing, sis. Not that kind of breaking, my brother. Come on. This is the thing that produces a beautiful fragrance from your life. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing it. Come on. There you go. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing in. Come on, that's right. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in your heavenly language right there as the Lord's shifting right now. As the Lord's breaking in with His power, with His glory, with His presence. In Jesus' name. Breaking that off of you right now. Breaking that off of you right now. Come on. In His presence there is fullness of joy. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yeah. Yet who knows whether you've come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Why do I doubt it? 
Why do I doubt it? My steps are ordered. This is Esther's song. My steps are ordered. Come on, Esther's. My steps are ordered. My steps are ordered. For me, no weapons can form against me. No harm will befall me. No weapons can form against me. Yeah, no harm will befall me. The weapons that are formed against me. No harm will befall me. Even the weapons that are formed against me won't prosper. Won't succeed. I'm going to the king right now. I'm going to the king. This is Esther's song. I'm going to my king. I'm going right in. I'm going to my king. Yes, I'm going right in. Yes, I'm going right in. I'm going right in. I'm going right in. I'm going right in, 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 I'm going right in. I've got something to say, something on my heart, something on my mind, God. I gotta get to the King of Kings, and I'm going right in. I'm going right in. Woo! I come into the kingdom for such a time as this. Yes, I've come into this kingdom for such a time as this. And I'm going to my king. I'm going right in. <laughs> if I perish, then I perish. Perish, and I perish, but I won't perish. No, I won't. Cause my king is good, yes, full of mercy. My king is good and full of mercies. My king is faithful, my king is righteous. My king will hold out, hold out his scepter. I'm going right in, I'm going right in, I'm going right in. I'm going right in. This is Esther's song. This is Esther's song. She said, I'm going right in. I'm gonna see the king. I'm going right in. I'm going right in. My king is faithful. My king is faithful. My king is righteous. I can see it in his eyes. I can see it in his hands. I can see it in his beauty. Yes, 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 yes. That's my king. He's on my.
then she had a song on it.
What is the Lord speaking to you during this time? true God. If that's you, say that's me. I know there's one. There's one right there. There's more than one. There's another one. God bless you. And you just say it in your heart. God, I'm asking you in my heart. I'm not just praying a prayer and then I'm going about about my day. I'm not just praying a little prayer, a little couple words that I repeat after somebody and then I'm going back to my... No, I'm making a commitment to follow you. Jesus said, if any man comes after me, he must deny himself, pick up his cross, and follow me. That's the formula. That's how you become a follower of Christ. Deny yourself what you want, what your agenda is, what your program is, your will. You deny that. You say, no, I'm picking up my cross. My daily walk with Jesus, I'm following Christ today and every day. If it gets hard, I'm following him. If I don't know what to do one day, I'm still following him. Come on, somebody. When you do that, you're saved. Someone said, that's me. Another person said, I want my fire back. Someone said, that's me. Meredith said, that's me. Love you, Meredith. Who else? There's about 10 more people that need to say, that's me. said that's me. Mari said that's me.
Kareem. Come on. In the name of Jesus, I just bless you. Bless you, Kareem. Bless you, Meredith. Bless you, everybody that typed. That's me. I believe your name was Lacey. In the name of Jesus, I just pray over you. I just pray over your journey with the Lord now. As you're starting this new journey with the Lord, you know that all of heaven is rejoicing. Hello. Everybody on Facebook should be rejoicing. This is what should be going viral right now. Look at all the people. That's me. Bless you, Monique. Welcome, welcome. Come on. Who else said that? I want to say hello to everybody that's saying that. Cassie. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Jeremy, for going and encouraging the people that are saying that's me. Tina Marie says, that's me. Come on. God saving folks. This is what it's about, guys. It's the presence of the Lord that changes people. It's his goodness that leads us to repentance. He's a good father. You haven't messed up too much. You haven't done too much where you can't come back to God. Some of you are saying right now, I'm still living in the house with but do. We're still up here laying in the same bed together. I'm going to do it later. I'll give my life to Christ later. You need to do it now. You don't even know if you have a later. You have no promised days. Do it now. God save me. We can save you too. I'm just tarrying. That's what we call it back in, back in the day. In the Pentecostal church, they call it Terry. It means waiting. Just waiting a little bit. See what God wants to do. Come on, that's right. Welcome them. Uh, by the way, thank you. Huera. Thank you, Huera. Farron. Um, you somehow found my cash app and you've been sending me blessings. Um, during this live. I appreciate that. That's such a blessing. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you guys remember to pray for all of those that committed. You know, it would be really amazing. I mean, it's not hard. Just get a pen and paper. Just scroll up. Go look for the people that said, that's me. Write their name down. Maybe in a little pad of paper. Maybe in a place where you keep your prayers. Pray for them. They need our prayers. They need us to remember them in prayer and cover them. You know, the enemy is... He's, going around like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. We know that God is the victor and he protects us and we need to be there for each other. Hallelujah. Well, I love you. Isn't this a beautiful um, song? I mean, it's just been on like this really cool, unique repeat cycle, but it's so beautiful. Kyle, love it. Worship and warfare. I'm sorry, warfare and worship music on YouTube. It's pretty much what I listen to when I want to flow like this. He's got hundreds of videos. And at night, he actually goes live and he puts a black screen on and he plays like really soft prophetic instrumental music so that you can have it on while you're sleeping and it won't be like really bright in the room. Really cool, unique idea. Who are you saying hi to? Hi, friend. Who's your friend? I'm so nosy. Yeah, he's amazing. You guys like it? You guys go follow him. I always try to give him some sort of acknowledgement during these things because this is very instrumental. Very instrumental. Oh, I get it, play on words because it's an instrumental, but I mean, I mean, okay, you get it. Some of y'all didn't get it, but I got it. This is instrumental in releasing what was needed to be released today. Pretty cool. The Lord said in the beginning, he kept telling me, Esther's song, Esther's song. But he didn't give me a song. Like, I didn't hear it. I was just hearing other stuff to sing. And sure enough, if you were with me the whole time, you'll you know that once we got into it, 
the Lord kind of just built this whole song in the middle of us praising and worshiping Him and really positioning ourselves to hear from Him. That's what He was saying in the beginning is, I've been speaking. I've been speaking. And the Lord even said, why have you said, where are you, Lord? Why have you said, I'm not speaking when I am speaking? I'm over here like, oh God, did I say that? He said, I've been speaking the whole time. The question is, are we listening? Are we positioned to hear? Or are we looking to the left or to the right? Or behind or distracted or self-pity? Talking about some, I just never hear. No excuses anymore. Take off those shoes. They're looking right at you, girl. Get planted, get grounded. My mom used to say, where there's a will, there's a way. I promise you that if you seek him with your whole heart, the Bible says you'll find him. Did my brother just send stars? I wonder if my brother just sent stars. My brother is on here. His name is Pablo Dorsey. I don't know what Pablo is at all because that's not his name. <laughs> his name is Steven. <laughs> It is an amazing name, and we've called you that your whole life. I don't know what this Facebook name is, <laughs> but um, will everybody just on here just pray for my brother? He's called to the Lord. He is the baby in the family, and when he was born, I know so many of you have heard me tell this story, especially my students. He was like my baby. I was a teenage girl and I have four brothers. He was the last boy and I brought his crib into my room. I asked my mother, can I bring his crib into the room? I brought his crib into my room and all of his stuff I went and got out of the drawer from my mom's room and I folded it and put all his baby clothes in my room and he became my baby. He, he became my child like so much that all the way up until about four years old, he actually thought that I was his mother. So that's my little brother, Steven. <laughs> and I love him, he's very dear. And then when he got older, the other boys, they pretty much spilled the beans that I was not the mother and that Mom was the mom, and then uh, from there he started rebelling against me, so. <laughs> uh, someone said, uh, we pray for you, Pablo, Stephen. I guess, is Pablo like Stephen in Spanish? I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. I never got it. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. Yes, yeah, so sweet. Stephen was my baby. Aww. I literally took him to daycare. I took him, I would go to school, take him to daycare. I would get out of school. I would walk to his daycare, pick him up, take him home in the stroller. Like, legitimately, he was my kid. <laughs> All the other brothers, I was like, I don't know y'all. <laughs> Get out! But little Steven, that's why the other boys used to pick on him. They would say, you're so spoiled. I'd say, he's favored. You better back off. This is my Steven. And then I married a Steven, so I was just like, I pretty much think that's the best name in the world. You can't get better than that. All right, guys. You know when I start talking a lot like this, I am tired. Oh, by the way, Someone asked earlier, um, how do they sew? Um, if you want to sew, I mean, you can. Let me see. My, let me just put my cash up up here. I don't know my PayPal. Otherwise, I would put it up here. I mean, it's my name, so. 
but this is my cash up. It's Jenny Weaver Worships and then a one, like the number one. Because I see people are sewing. I appreciate that. You must have had my cash up like saved or something in your phone. So I appreciate you. Thank you, Tarsha. Thank you, Latoya. Oh, thank you, Faith. You guys are amazing. Oh, Pablo means Paul. Mm, interesting. Maybe that's prophetic. Maybe. Maybe he's gonna have like a. Oh, somebody just said Pablo is Peter. Well, guys. <laughs> Peter and Paul. Is he robbing Peter to pay Paul? I don't understand this. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Carolyn. Oh, thank you, Adriana. Adriana is the link lady. Stephanie, you missed it. Oh my gosh, go back. Go back and watch it when it's over. And then share it too. Adriana's putting up the ways to give. So if you want to give, do that. You don't have to. I don't come on here for that. God's blessed me. Um, people want to sew because they know about sewing in the good ground. It's a principle in the Bible. I love you, Gina Barron. What you doing up late, Gina Barron? You having a Holy Ghost party? Somebody just did a bunch of hearts with the Nation's Church logo. Jen Thomas, is that you? Is your um, Facebook profile the nation's church logo now that's kind of cool oh so I'm really saying it's Peter okay oh someone else just said it's Paul y'all need to stop <laughs> listen I've been learning Spanish and I will just tell you, it is difficult. And the reason why learning Spanish is difficult, learning to sing in Spanish, because I realized Spanish is not translated, English is not translated to Spanish word for word. It doesn't work like that. So you can't just type in Google your words, click translate, it doesn't, it doesn't go like that. So I'll learn one song and then I'll hear it sung a different way and I'm like, they're singing it a totally different way. What are they doing? And someone told me it's the different dialects, the different ways that people have translated the words from English to Spanish. So I guess that's why you guys are saying, some of y'all are saying it's Paul, some of y'all are saying it's Peter. We know it starts with P and we're gonna end it with that. <laughs> Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm gonna like write it. I'm gonna I'm gonna write the question on my Facebook and it's gonna be like when Chick-fil-A was going against Popeyes, which one's better? I'm gonna go, what does Pablo mean? Is it Peter or is it Paul? And we're gonna see all the hundreds of people that'll have all these different answers. That'll be fun. <laughs> Juanita Judy is watching. Hello, how are you? Erica, Tanel, hello. Morgan, Morgan's laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just looking at you guys' comments. Someone said, I'm eating Chick-fil-A right now. Oh my gosh, you got it, you got it right before, because they are not going to be open tomorrow, and tomorrow is the day that my spirit always wants Chick-fil-A. Every single Sunday, I'm like, ooh, I know, let's go to Chick-fil-A. I have literally drove there, y'all, a few times, and when I get there and I see clothes, I'm not like, oh, it's so cool that they're closed on Sunday, I'm like, no! Open. I know you have some heathen people that do not go to church. They don't, they don't believe in God. Let them work. 
I'm serious. I'm like, I want my food. Who said that? I, I knew that was you, Monty. I didn't even have to, I didn't have to go back. I was like, I bet you that's Monty. She said, you get goofy when you're tired. Yeah, ask my husband. This is just level one. <laughs> there are levels to this. You have no idea. No idea. I literally put on plays for my husband and like act out these whole things. He's like, he, he tells me every day, he's like, you're, you're like actually weird. <laughs> And it brings me so much joy to hear that. I'm like, yes, I did it again. Well, when the music ends, it's really time to go. I love you guys. I'm out. Bye.